All right, hello everybody. So uh, today's the day where we open some Theros packs because boom, Theros has dropped. I hope everybody's excited is excited about this as I am because honestly, the set's gonna be amazing. So let's just get right into it. All right, so oh, it tells me. Oh, that's amazing. It tells me when I get a first card and when I get a double. Um, that is a cool... That is a cool uh, cool saga. Scry 2. Choose a card name. Metamize Prophecy for 2 mana. And then for 4, on the 4th turn, you get to look at the top card of each player's library, including your own. That's, that's pretty good. Ooh, one with the stars, Enchanted Permanent, is an enchantment and loses all other card types. So that'll definitely reduce some, um, like, tribal, I guess anything that's not an enchantment. Uh, synergy, you know, like creature synergy, things that die, that sort of thing. Uh, sacrifice a creature, each opponent loses a life, you get a life, that's not bad. Whenever another creature you control attacks, gets zero one. There's a battlefield, put the top three cards. Oh, a mill card for four. 3-2 for 1 mana, that's really good, Infuriate. Ooh, Towering Wave Mystic, that's going to help mill quite a bit. Let's see what we got for the rare. Oh, we got a Legendary first thing. Seder Tribal, okay. Alright, I see you Wizards of the Coast, that's pretty insane. Discard a card at random, so if you have no cards in hand, then I mean you're, you're golden there. Right, let's go for the next one. We got Calafi, Beloved of the Sea. Power is equal to your devotion of blue creatures and enchantments you control. Have spells your opponents cast that target this permanent cost one more. Oh, that's that's solid. Sacrifice a creature, draw a card. Ichthyomorphosis. Oh, <laughs> turn something into a useless fish. That's pretty funny. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, enchanted creature gets first strike for three mana. Mm. That's pretty good. You know, I'm liking the enchantments that are coming into this set just because there are going to be some really, really good ones. Oh, we got a got some wild cards. Underworld charger can't block. Escape. Okay, so you return it from your graveyard, and it escapes as a five-five. Okay, and we got the red saga. Can control of target creature for as long as the Acroan Acroan War remains on the battlefield. Until your next turn, creature's opponent's control attack. Each tap tapped creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. Okay, that's a good. Uh, that's almost like Rowan Kenrith from I think one of the uh, one of the Planeswalker sets. Her minus three, I think, forces or her plus two forces someone to attack you and then her minus three deals three damage to each each of them but this one's better because it deals damage to itself equal to its power so if anything has greater power than toughness or equal to then it just kills them all right let's go to the next one enchant creature four task counters on it enchanted creature can't attack or block it loses all abilities and has tap remove a task counter okay okay that's pretty nice, actually. So if you have tap mechanics, you can get rid of that pretty easily. Um, look at the top three. You reveal a land card. Put that into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom. That's pretty good, too. For two mana? Hmm. I might be running that. Dice crit a zero one one token. Uh, that would go well in any death trigger decks. Devotion to each color and each combination of colors is increased by one. Wow. Enemy of any color, if you control a god, demigod, or a legendary enchantment, you gain a life. Enchant creature you control, when it enters, it deals 4 damage to target creature or planeswalker. And it gives that creature 1-1. One, one. That's not bad. And then, unknown shores. Okay, so that's a reprint. And we got Thassa's Intervention. Choose one. Look at the top X cards of your library. Put up to two of them in your hand, and the rest on the bottom. Okay, so it's a little bit different uh, search mechanic but that's still pretty good because it's at instant speed almost like a dig through time or what's the other one I'm trying to think of drawn from dreams where you look at the top seven put two in your hand or you can counter a spell unless this controller pays twice X wow that's that's solid 
definitely going to be running that in our is it deck for sure. Minus one, plus one, minus one, until the end of turn. So you can boost him to be a 6 1 for three mana. That's not bad. Draw a card, and you can escape for three for a two mana instant to draw a card. That's, that's not bad. Oh, Hyrax, Tower Scout. We cast a spell that targets this guy. Creatures you control get one zero. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. If a creature dealt damage by Incendiary Oracle, would die this turn. Exile it instead. Wow, that's that's amazing. Counter target creature or enchantment. If that spell's countered, exile it instead of putting it into its graveyard for three mana. And then we got the Scola Gra Grove Dancer. When a land is put into your graveyard for mana where you gain a life. And you just mill the top card for three. Underworld Breach. Oh. Ooh. That's pretty sweet. So for two mana, you give all your non-land cards in your graveyard escape. Alright, let's go to the next one. Come on, baby. Equal your devotion to white. So he automatically enters as a 2-2 two -two, because he has a two-white devotion. Enters the battlefield or dies, you gain a life. That's that's solid. Oh, a mill guy, mill wizard for one mana. Draw a card, enchanted creature gets 1-0, and trample. Hmm, that's pretty good. So whenever you play an enchantment, that guy gets 1-1. One, one. Other creatures have trample. Nalia's Forerunner, that's not too bad either. Draw two, lose two, and put the top two. So you draw first, then you lose two life, and then you put the top two. So that's that's pretty solid. And we got a wild card. You know, I will not complain about wild cards. We need as many as we can get. We got a Moss Viper, a 1-1 green with Death Touch. A Flash Turtle. That's amazing. Thrill of Possibilities, so that's uh, that's a reprint, I think, from the last set. Dealt this turn, except combat damage that would be dealt by enchanted creatures and enchantment creatures. That's pretty sweet. You get to scry, too. Um, this card with escape enters with three 1-1 one -one counters on it. When it enters the battlefield, it deals damage equal to its power to target a creature with flying for one mana and you can ex escape it for five there is Renata called to the hunt so she enters as a as a 2-3 each other creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it that's pretty sick and we got Atris Oracle of Half Truths 3-2 with Menace when you enter the battlefield target opponent looks at the top three cards of your library and separates them into a face down pile and face up Put one pile in your hand and the other in your graveyard. Now that's sweet. Because you can either screw yourself over with two face down cards or take the one face up card that you know you're going to get. That's solid. Um, okay, Rise to Glory for five minutes. You can return a creature to the battlefield and an aura. So you can choose the order of which that happens. So you can either return an aura first and then the creature, or a creature and then an aura. So that's pretty sweet. Traveler's Amulet. Nice. That's uh, that's now standard. That's going to be amazing. Nadir Kraken. Whenever you draw a card, you may pay one. If you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter and create a 1-1 one, one blue. Hmm, that's not too bad. Oh my god, so many cards in this deck. When this guy dies, creature gets minus one, minus one. Okay, exile a card from a, an opponent's graveyard. Ooh, force your opponent to discard, and then the creature has lifelink. That's pretty scary. Oh, this guy would go perfect in the new, um, on the new food token deck. Not the new, but... The one that was like most popular in standard. You guys know what I mean. Deals two damage to target creature planeswalker. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under control, put a one one counter on him and draw a card. Wow, that's that's incredible. So we have 
50 packs to open, guys. That's just that's a lot. I did buy the pre-order pre-order pass for it, so we'll be uh we'll be opening a lot of packs. Three mana flash, so you can wait till someone uses a kill spell. Two mana flash enchantment when it enters the battlefield. Scry two, then draw, and you can pay three to sacrifice it to scry two again. Hmm. That seems really, really good. Okay, here are the pride. I like that. Chain of memory, minus four, minus zero, scry two. And we got a temple of deceit. Nice. Okay, that's not too bad. I like that Dawn Angel. That seems that seems pretty nice. Oh, what is this guy? So a four mana for a four four, and then you can escape it to make it a seven seven. That's that's solid. A two mana three three flyer for a Chimera. Erebos's intervention. So we got the black one too. So we have the blue and the black one now. Target creature gets minus X minus X. You gain X life and exile up to twice X cards from graveyards. Ooh. Ooh. Gain life equal to your devotion to green. That's pretty sweet. So the, just the more creatures you have on the battlefield, the more life you gain. So I can see that being really good in... Uh, Maybe like the new Karametra deck. Hactos the Unscarred. Attacks each combat available. There's a battlefield. Choose 2, 3, 4 at random. Has protection from each converted mana cost other than the chosen number. That's... That's crazy. 6, 1 for 4 mana. No haste, but if you have a way to give it haste and just pump that guy up, that's that's amazing. Yeah, mythic wild card. Exodus of in black. So a two mana instant, pretty much, if you have two black permanents on the battlefield. Target creature power four greater can't attack or block. Oh, and you can pay three to exile it. Hmm. I guess the owner can pay to exile it. I'm not sure. Basic land, put it on the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Three mana enchantment for flash, and you can sacrifice it to scry. It's not bad. Ooh, a three two with haste. When he enters the battlefield, return any number of aura cards from the graveyard to the battlefield attached to creatures you control. Exile them at the beginning of the next step. If those orders would leave the battlefield, exile them instead. Um, that seems just okay, but it does have haste. So when it enters the battlefield, you can cast this guy, equip all of your auras from your graveyard to this one guy if your opponent can't block it, or you can give it trample, and then they're exiled. So that's, that's a decent win con. This guy enters the battlefield. Put the top two cards of your library to your graveyard, then you may return a permanent from your graveyard to your hand. That's solid. That's like a grave digger, but for a permanent card from your graveyard. Creature or enchantment to its owner's hands. Stern dismissal. Another bounce. As long as it's not your turn, spells you cast cost one less. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. The battlefield target creature and opponent controls get minus X minus X, where X is devotion to black. So that can kill pretty much any god. Indestructibility is affected by minus x minus x because if a creature has base power and toughness zero, it dies whether or not it has indestructibility. Chant enters battlefield under control, gains flying. That's not not great. Another temple, okay. I'm fine with that. Does one damage to each creature in each planeswalker. Permanent dealt damage this way would die. Exile instead. 
That's not bad either. That would go in the ping deck. So then, say you ping each of his creatures, ping a couple creatures for one mana or for one damage, two damage, and then you play this, deals one more, and you get to ping something on top of it, and then those creatures are exiled. A seven-three Cyclops for five mana. Exile target creature for five. Aura spells cost one less. And this guy costs two mana, and he's a flyer. Phoenix of Ash. Flying Haste, 2-2. Two, two. You can pump him, and then you can escape him. That's, uh, that's a pretty good card. Oh, we got another one of the blue, uh, the blue sagas. And then we got the green saga, yes! So, gold tokens um, are just like treasure tokens. You can sacrifice them for any color of mana, and you don't have to pay anything for it. But basically, you create a 1-1, one -one, and then you put three 1-1 one -one counters, and you can put those on the 1-1 one -one human soldier that you have created. And then, if you control a creature with power four or greater, draw two. That's that's an excellent that's an excellent card right there. Two creature gains trample and X zero, where X is the number of lore counters. So one zero, then two zero, then three zero. And then when it gets to four, target creature you control fights up to one target creature you don't control. That's not too bad can't attack unless you control another creature with power 4 or greater. That's pretty sweet. Oh, sorry about that. Marked up my desk. All right, and then we have uh Leonin of the Lost Pride. Exile it. Exile a card from an opponent's library. That's pretty good. Can't be blocked by enchanted creatures or enchantment creatures. And Gift of Strength. That's making a comeback. I love that art though. What is that, like a lemur? I think that's like a lemur creature. Looks like a Zabumafu. And we got the Ox of Agonis. When it enters the battlefield, discard your hand, then draw three. You can escape it for two mana to bring it back in to discard your hand and draw three more. You just need to exile eight other cards from your graveyard. That's That's pretty solid. Return to nature. Okay, so that's making a comeback too. Humbling Sentry. Uh, I like that art though. That art is honestly amazing. At the beginning of your upkeep, return up to one target creature or one other enchantment you control to its owner's hand. So free. Gets a free flicker with uh, with an enchantment. That's that's gonna be pretty nutty. And we got Elspeth. Beautiful. Okay. Alright, that's all we wanted. We're done. This pack opening's over. Nah, I'm just kidding you guys. We're, we're gonna keep going, but that is amazing. You can escape her from your graveyard, create two tokens, or you can gain five life. So, I guess she's gonna need some sort of proliferation in order to go up, but that's not a problem. Enchanted creature is about a foot. Put a 1 1 counter on it. The beginning of your upkeep, double the number of 1 1 counters on Enchanted Creature. That is amazing. Hydra's Growth. Look at that art, too. It's like a horse with four heads. And the, and the heads happen to be like goat dragons. That is, that is amazing. Loathsome Chimera. So I guess all these, all these 1 1 counter creatures, like with green. I can see I can see the synergy. Yep, and another whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield, put a one one counter on him and draw a card, we get another uh Citesen champion. Constellation. This ability triggers when an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control. I like that a lot. That is very cool. Another uh Calafi, beloved C. A rage scarred berserker and his battlefield target creature you control gains one zero and gains indestructible. Hmm. That's not bad. 
Storm's Wrath, four damage to each creature in Planeswalker. That's a such a cool board wipe. Look at that art. Okay. Oh, we got the black one. Timoret, chosen from death. Exile up to two card target cards from graveyards. You gain one life for each creature card to exile this way. You know what would be really good in a black white deck right now? Is the three mana cost Kaya that exiles one mana cost permanence and her ultimate that deals damage equal to the number of exiled cards you have. So if you're running black white exile, I think I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be really good. Tire creature gets one one. Skyner's battlefield scry one. Thaumaturge is familiar. And of course Slaughter Priest of Mogus. Two mana. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, he gets two zero. Pay two mana to sacrifice a creature or an enchantment. He gains first strike. So not only does he become a 4-2 when you sacrifice a creature and enchantment, he gains first strike. And you can do it more than once because you don't have to tap him or anything. It's just a pay two mana ability. And we got Thrix. Heck yes. This guy is going in my elemental deck. I'm super excited to use him. He's a 5 mana cost, flash flying, spells with CMC 5 or greater, cost 1 less, and can't be countered. That is the biggest thing, is they cannot be countered, so that, that, that's, I'm, I'm speechless right now. That card is, is awesome. Relentless Pursuit, reveal a creature or a land, put it in your hand, the rest in the graveyard. That's, that's not going to be bad. Target opponent sacrifices a creature or an enchantment. You can... Yeah. For three mana. Oh, we got a mythic rare card. That's actually really good. We got the Black Saga. Destroy target creature with power two or less. Target opponent reveals their hand. I'll make them discard a card, and then you exile their whole graveyard if it gets to three. Mantle of the Wolf. Chained creature gets four four when it's put into the battle or into the graveyard from the battlefield. Create two two twos. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, guys, I'm just I'm in love with this set. Like, expect a lot of videos coming out of me playing standard and and different game modes of it because it is it is incredible. This guy enters the battlefield. You can put target enchantment card from your graveyard on top of your library. If you do, you gain life equal to its converted mana cost. That's pretty sick. So you gain life back of the card that you put back on top because the next turn, I mean, assuming you, you cast this guy and you're wasting your card draw on an enchantment you have in the graveyard. But if it's a high CMC one, then it's totally worth it. And we got another green saga. All right, I guess uh, I guess you know what this means. We're running a mono green deck. We we are gonna be making a mono green deck. Target enchantment on the bottom for one green. That's insane. Elite instructor. Draw a card, then discard. Sacrifice another creature. Gets one zero and menace. That's pretty sweet. And we got another storm's wrath. Vigilance and lifelink on a four mana cost creature. That, that wouldn't be bad in draft. Chain of creature gets minus three, minus three. Can kill a god, I think. Woe Strider. Create a goat token. And that is a cool looking goat. And you can escape it to make it a five four. Alright, we're halfway through the pack opening. And we're kind of, we're running lower on the, the commons and uncommons we're getting so pay two mana and chain of creature gets two one and you can escape it search for a basic planes put it in your hand then you create a wall and then you gain two life and we got the white and blue temple temple of enlightenment arcana falling stars when he dies you can return an enchantment from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's nice. Whenever 
Whenever an enchantment enters, you gain two life. That's always good. And we got the Temple of Plenty. When this guy enters, it fights another creature. Whenever two or more creatures your opponent's control attack, he can't block. Okay. So if someone attacks with one creature, you're fine. Two creatures. Sorry, but this guy can't really do much. And we got another wild card. Command presence. Enchanted creature gets 2-2. Two, two, first strike. And whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, create a 1-1. One, one. So if you're able to give it trample, free token generation. Two mana death touch. Enters the battlefield. Put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. And you gain two. One mana cost enchantment. Has 1-1 one, one in vigilance. And you can escape it for one mana in exile too. That's not bad at all. And we got... The Elder Giant. Oh my gosh. Okay, so check this guy out. When he enters the battlefield, you have to sacrifice him. He's two mana. There's, there's a reason this guy's a 6-6 six, six for two mana. It's basically Rakdos. You're going to be discarding a bunch of cards, drawing a bunch of cards. And it says whenever he enters the battlefield or attacks, each opponent discards a card, and if they can't, and if they didn't discard a non-land card, they lose three life. So basically forces your opponent to discard a permanent that's not a land. Otherwise, they just keep going down life. That's that's actually really good for two mana. It's, a, it's almost like a lightning strike, but it's a creature that you can escape for four mana. Uh, I'm excited, guys. I'm thinking of all the different all the different possibilities of decks that we can do. And you guys will get to see all of them. Okay, another Seder. Two damage to any target. Two mana cost flash enchantment. Oh, that's the red version of that card. Okay, and you can scry two. And we got the Bronze Hide Lion. Pay one green, one white. Gets indestructible, and when he dies, return to the battlefield. It's an aura enchantment with the in Enchant creature you control and pay two mana enchanted creature gains indestructibility of end of turn and loses all other abilities. That's pretty sweet. That's awesome. Indomitable Will. That's one, two. Tap target creature. That's that's not bad either. And eat to extinction. Look at that thing. Exile target creature planeswalker. You look at the top card, you can put that card in your graveyard. So, it's kind of like a surveil. Utropia, the twice favored. Put a 1 1 counter on target creature. That creature gains flying. That's amazing. Make someone mill four. Create a 1-1 one, one satyr with this creature can't block. And you can escape it for three mana. It's not bad either. Got another woe strider as well. Uh, the red devotion creature. Or another non-token creature dies. Create a 1-1. One, one. The creature had poor power four or greater. Create two tokens instead. That's pretty solid. And the Temple of Abandon. Fifteen packs to go, guys. All of these we've seen before. And another Kraken. Furious Rise, the beginning of your end step. If you control a creature power four or greater, exile the top card. You can play that card until you exile another card with Furious Rise. So you can play it until the beginning of your next end step. Okay, Flicker of Fate. It's a flicker for two mana. It's pretty sweet. Oh my gosh, this boar. This guy becomes blocked by a creature. That creature's controller draws a card, but all creatures able to block him do so. 
So it's kind of like a border wipe. Let's get to the next one. Mischievous Chimera. When you recast your first spell during each opponent's turn, deals one damage and you scry. That's pretty solid. Okay, there's the black enchantment with flash. Return a creature from your graveyard to your hand for one mana. And Gravebreaker Lamia. Lifelink for 4-4. Four, four. Lifelink 4-4 four, four for 5 mana. Okay. So this is something I was thinking about. This, combined with the Elder Giant we just pulled, you search for it, put it in your graveyard, and then you're able to um, escape it. And it costs one colorless less, which I think it was two red, two black, so that doesn't matter. But still, you're able to basically tutor for something and put it in your graveyard. That's pretty sick. Got another blue enchantment saga. There's a four mana merfolk for two five. Whirlwind Denial. This card is amazing because if someone storms off and counters your counter, for each spell and ability your opponents control, counter it unless they pay for it. So this counter is like enchantment abilities, things that enter the battlefield, crazy stuff for four mana. Say someone storms off with um, like Simic Ramp, you can just say, okay, well, I'm going to counter all of your creature ramp abilities and the card that you just casted to ramp unless you pay four mana for each oh no not for each unless you pay four mana that's still that's still really good labyrinth of skophos one of the best cards in this in this set honestly pay for remove target attacking or blocking creature so you can protect your creature if someone throws something in with flash or you can just save yourself Got another Eutropia, Entrancing Liar. You can choose not to untap it, and you tap a creature with power X or less. That's actually that's actually pretty solid, because then you can just leave it tapped. Don't have to worry about someone untapping it. Bronze Sword, one mana for two zero, equip three. So for four mana, a creature gets two zero if you play it and equip it in the same turn. And another Labyrinth. Okay, I am okay with that because I think two of them in a deck would be necessary. Cling to Dust, instant for one mana, exile a card from a graveyard. That's pretty solid. Faithful End deals three damage to any target, scry one. Elemental Hound, a 3 1 for two mana. And we got Calyx, Destiny's Hand. Look at the top four, reveal an enchantment card from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom in a random order. And then his minus three basically makes one of your enchantments a uh, an exile. And then you can minus seven to return all enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. That is awesome. Oh, Faithful End. Deals three damage to any target. Scry one. That's not bad either. Give me that mythic rare. Okay, so we've already seen all these guys. We got another Storm Herald. Nice. We already have seen all of these. Tyrannica. Whenever he attacks, untap another target creature you control so you can tap a creature for mana. Whenever he attacks, untap it. That creature's base power and toughness for four and gains indestructible. Or you can swing with a creature and then untap it with it. It's then a 4-4 four, four with pretty much vigilance. For three mana, that's that's solid. And you have combat on your turn. Target enchanted creature or enchantment creature you control gets 1-1 one, one, and trample. That's not too bad. 
Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature. It gains haste. Scry one. So it's a it's a gain control of, and you get to look at the top card of your library, see if you have any way to deal with it, or if you can draw that card and, and do something with it. Arasta. This guy is also amazing. Pretty much counters any any storm deck because if someone storms off on their turn then you just create a bunch of little one twos that can block four mana for a crew one with first strike trample and haste that is awesome on the center of the battlefield you can either destroy an artifact or this guy gains haste that's not bad either and it's a satyr Hmm. <laughs> Seder Tribal? Question mark. Ah, yes, the white X mana destroy X targets and artifacts and/or enchantments. So, gods you can't destroy, but say someone had one of these out, you can just boom. I'm gonna destroy all three of these that you have on the battlefield, or you gain twice X life. Now, if you had a way to copy that, that'd be insane. Because then you get both. Here we have Sleep of the Dead. Tap a creature. It doesn't untap during the next untap step. A protection spell. Six mana. Giant. Six, seven. Ephemia. The Cacophony. Okay. So you play it. Exile creature. Or an enchantment, I mean, from your graveyard. Create a 2 2. That's not a bad deal at all. Okay. Search for an aura, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. That is amazing. In the battlefield, create a 1 1 human soldier. Whenever you cast a spell that targets him, creatures get 1 0. Okay, so uh, another buff, another soldier buff guy. Perforos' intervention. Nice, the red intervention. Create an X1 elemental creature with trample and haste, sacrifice it at the next end step, or it deals twice x damage to target creature or planeswalker so here you have just straight damage coming at you with trample or you can take out someone's planeswalker or creature so that's that's amazing whenever an enchanted creature dies draw a card for each aura you controlled that was attached to it that's nice for one mana an enchantment spirit with lifelink plus look at that art that just if anything, you have to respect respect the artwork in this in this set. Oh, Eidolon of Obstruction, two one with first strike, loyalty abilities of planeswalkers. Your opponent's control cost one more mana to activate, so it just basically makes opponents pay to use their planeswalker. Creature and enchantment spells can't be countered. Land becomes an XX, where X is the number of enchantments you control. That's pretty sweet. Makes someone lose two life for one mana. And we got the blue intervention, so I think that's all of the invention interventions. Or no, we did we did already get this one. That's right. We did already get this one, I think. I think we have all of them then at this point. And last pack, let's see what we get. Warden of the Chained, Nyx Lotus. Wow. Legendary artifact that is better than a Gilded Lotus because it taps for your devotion, not just three mana. Devotion. So, mono green, hello, you can tap it for like 10 mana via 10 green devotion on the battlefield and yeah I think I think that's gonna be it guys I think today I'm gonna spend the rest of this time constructing some decks and I'll uh, I'll go over them with you guys let you guys know what they look like but man was that great pulling Elspeth we did get the white intervention
honestly, I'm I'm super excited to play this set. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Thrix, mm. honestly, my favorite card in this in this set, really. Yeah, just kind of going through them all right now. Show you guys what I got. You guys feel free to pause and and look at the uh, the cards on their own because they're really good. Did get Erebos's intervention. Did get Perforos's intervention. Did we get the green intervention though? I don't know if we. I don't remember if we did or not. There it is, Perforosis. We did get a lot of really good green cards. We did not get the green intervention. So I will possibly just end up buying that card. We got the Ashiok just from pre-ordering the, uh, the packs. She uh, creates a 2-3 Black Nightmare whenever it attacks or blocks. Each opponent exiles the top two. Ooh. That's nasty. And you can cast up to three face-up cards your opponents own from exile without paying their mana cost. That's awesome. Forces someone to exile. That's just That's just a really good card all around. Croxa, that's the one I was talking about earlier with the other person that lets you tutor and basically you can tutor this guy, put him in your graveyard and then just escape him if you have enough mana and cards in your graveyard. Calyx, oh, so cool. Two Labyrinths. Nyx Lotus. And then I think, yeah, that's it, because then it goes to um, the other sets that we have. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this pack opening video. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more videos coming out with Theros Beyond Death, because I am so excited about this set. And yeah, I hope everyone has a great day. Peace.